G'day, it's Shane here, and thank you for joining me, the Lonely Grape TV, and thank you, you for helping me bring McLaren Bar wines of the world. A little bit different today, uh, change of venue. I'm actually doing some work uh, in a uh, back in the mining industry, and uh, I'm up at work at the moment, and I thought for this difference, I'd actually create this video in my donga. So here you can see me in my room, in my attire, my work clothes, and um, here to uh, just not only share what I'm doing there, but also share some wine with you. So, got the old Benson, which is a tawny port, old tawny port from the Rosemount stable. And uh, so let's do the wanky thing. Probably a bit hard to see, but uh, definitely um, those brown characters that you expect from a good age tawny port. That really is a nice uh, nose, nice aromas coming through there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now. The characters there, uh, there's a whole range of characters. There's a bit of uh, burnt toffee, that, um, that that complexity that you get, the rancio complexity that you get from uh, good age material uh, sitting in oak for long periods of time. So I suspect this has a significant uh, overall average age. Uh, but there's also some, uh, I said, sort of burnt toffee. There is some uh, currants in there. You do get a bit of a tingle on the nose so the alcohol is certainly coming through but uh, all the elements that you would expect from a classic Australian tawny port are certainly in this one it really makes you think uh, that you're going to look forward to having it a try so why not really nice, really lingering, certainly uh, sticks to the palate quite nicely in terms of flavour. Not as viscous as maybe I would have thought, so it doesn't have that viscous mouthfeel. Uh, there is some viscosity there, but not as thick as, as potentially I thought, <coughs> certainly when I uh, smelt the wine. So that real age character coming through, um, there's some good oak um, characters for, with that age coming through as well. And there's that sort of the burnt caramel um, flavours, um, strong sort of toffee, <clears throat> caramel, all those things. So it's quite a sweet wine, as you would expect, being a classic tawny port. But it's not just sweetness here. <clears throat> there is layers and layers of complexity from from the oak, certainly from uh, the maturation for that time, some evaporation that would have occurred in the oak, really is all just about uh, strengthening those flavours and bringing them together. <clears throat> this really is a lovely classic Australian style for a tawny port, though you're not supposed to call it port anymore. Um, but uh, this I've also been told this wine has a, has a fairly major following from the cellar door and people do come from a long way away just to make sure uh, they can get some. I was also told that I was lucky to buy it because it was some return stock from overseas. Well, if they didn't like it overseas, that's their problem um, because this is a damn fine wine uh, to try back here in good old Oz. So, uh, on that note... Salute, enjoy, and uh, thank you for joining me in my donga.